Hello traders, this is Igor from FX Sigur YouTube channel. Today we're talking about easy market trades. So what is the easy market trades? It's a moment when you have a 30 minute chart, one daily chart and fundamental data. Everything is aligned. So you have a uh, several triggers and all triggers is pointing to the one spot. So look, let me talk about this. Right now we are watching British pound dollar on one hour chart. As you can see, something something happened, but why market has this kind of reversal right now? So the answer is in fundamental data. So let me see. I'm right now in the Forex factory and I'm watching a today today market calendar, economic calendar. And as you can see, today we have very, very important news. It's a GDP data. As you can see, our expectation that dollar will be weak. So why? Because the US economy is in a little problem right now and we have a problem in GDP growth and as we can see projections right now are 1.2 percent which was the first economy of the world uh, is not good data and what is important right now the market expect this lower data for the GDP and as you can see in last several weeks we had really really bad shape for US dollar so let me just go to the chart if you go to the daily chart you can see the british pound dollar is in bullish move so this bullish move is uh, really clear what they like to do as you can as you know for example i like to draw trend lines and relative strength index so i will just do it right now on the chart so as you can see we have a bullish trend on relative strength index indicator. I like to draw this like this. So this is it. And on the 30 minute chart, we have something interesting too. What we can see on 30 minute chart is that last two days bearish trend right now is broken. So look this, this is the bearish trend line for last two days and a 30 minute chart you see the broken the broken relative strength index trend line so usually in my strategy this is the very very good indicator of the reversal so right now what we can see we can see the three bullish candles on on our chart we have a overall bullish trend on daily chart as you can see and the most important thing we have a data that can be in our benefit so what i will do i already enter into trade right now and i hope and i want to see that before the data release the price should be at least at 1.273 so here I expect the price reach this level here before the data release and then after the data release we will see what happened just because of that I will move my stop loss to be 15 20 pips below this this level here 1.273 and my strategy is that uh, if the news is, for example, excellent from US dollar, just let me see the worst scenario. Market may push very, very strong. I will be break even. You know, I will be break even. In that case, I will not lose anything. I will have a 15, 20 pips just, uh, just in case that we have a slippage then. So I'm, for example, I'm counting that it will be slippage. So I expect slippage. I'm I will be 15 20 pips in profit in the moment when uh, when a news come and in that moment I will see what will happen. So in this case I'm protected very very well. I'm protected with 20 pips in profit if this happens and my projects and my scenario um, become realistic so this is the very good thing uh, this is something that repeat very very often so in the day when we have a very very good news for some currency a few hours before that news we can see one whole session that price tries to to be in that bullish expectation or bearish expectation right now we're in a bullish expectation for british pound dollar and the bearish expectation for us dollar however the news can always 
switch the market and happen various things. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to find what is the level, what is the target level that we can use. Using the experience of using the weekly chart, we can see that several times before, around the level 1.285, we have very strong resistance. So we have this very strong resistance several times. As you can see, that resistance was in June 2023. Uh, it was support uh, in July 2023. It was resistance uh, at December 2024. It was resistance at March 2024. So this level is incredible. So this level is really incredible. And I will try, believe it or not, um, to put this, this very far away level as you can see, so I'm trying to target, I'm trying to target right now more than 150 pips. So my, my around 150 pips, yes. So as you can see, my, my target is really, really far. But what I know, I have always several targets. The first target is, like I said, that I expect to see in a couple hours, is 1.273. The next target is around 1.276 level because this level was resistance in last two weeks. And of course, like I said, uh, there is another level. It's 1.28. This is the resistance for this week. This is the highest price that we saw in this week. So this is the levels that I'm watching right now. So these levels, just to put on the chart, these levels. So these levels, I'm just watching on my chart all the time. And um, I can always close a trade on these levels because I think it's a uh, high liquidity levels. It's uh, it's a proven levels because these levels I saw I saw very very um, often in last um, one year. So. I hope that we will monitor this and that we can see this kind of um, this kind of um, trading opportunities. Uh, what is the important thing? So just to create some little recap, easy trades and the best trades and the trades when a lot of traders are aggressive are trades when we have a multiple triggers and all triggers are aligned. So all triggers are aligned. And right now we have a fundamental data on our side we have a daily chart on our side and have a 30 minute chart on our side so and a one hour chart we see three bullish candles so when we see that we can always count on 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 on, on something that 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 we are in the trend and the market on our side and we just need to wait of course there is another scenario what happens if the price just uh, oscillate right right here right now and uh, what is my plan in that case in that case if this happens i put a stop loss here just below this one hour low it's a last hour low because in that case it can be very tricky and i put um, as you can see it's a 10 pips stop loss right now because i i entered uh right here at uh, at the 1.2705 and uh i will be very cautious in that case but i hope that in a couple hours we will see this level here 27.3 and then after that if we have uh, expected results from the GDP of uh, US GDP we can see we can see the more bullish trend and we can see a new highs for the British pound dollar so this is my plan I hope that you like this please you can like this video and write a comment if you have some comment and your opinion about this setup of course uh, this setup uh, is a similar for euro dollar if you trade a gold and everything so everything is correlated we expected the bullish euro dollar expected the bullish um, um, the bullish gold and everything if we see uh, the bad data for US dollar. So as you know, fundamentals can push market in one or, or another direction. Right now, expectations are that US dollar, US dollar uh, 
can be weak because of poor GDP, but we need to see results and then to see what how market will react. Of course, if we see different results, the market can switch and then we will see the new new lows and uh, everything change. My 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 picture will uh, change and etc. So, uh, what is the intraday bullish uh, bearish validation level for me? If I see the price is below 1.2695, for me, this is the level that I will not buy anymore. I will be side and wait to see what will happen. So this is it. I wish you a great day and bye-bye.